Labą dieną. Labą dieną, senato pirmininkė profesoriau Ryti Krušinskai. Sveiki darėme garbingam svečiui profesoriui Klausui Švai. Sveikiname senato rektorato narius, universiteto prorektorius, dekanus, studentus ir visą akademinę bendruomenę. Sveikiname visus atvykusius pasveikinti ir pagerbti profesoriaus Klaus Schwab, kuriam šiandien bus įteiktos Kauno technologijos universiteto garbės daktaro regalijos. Taigi, šios dienos iškilmės toliau vyks anglų kalba. So, today's festivities will continue in English language. We welcome everyone who came here to congratulate and honor Professor Klaus Schwab, who is awarded Kaunas University of Technology Honorary Doctorate Regalia today. Kaunas, Uni Kaunas University of Technology Folk Art Ensemble Namunas will begin our festivities, as you um, already can see. It is the largest and most active art society of the university that promotes our national folk art and uh, presents it all around the world. The owner of the amazing voice, soloist Sandra Lebrikaite, will join the choir. So, let's hear it.
Thank you. Columbus University of Technology Folk Art Ensemble, Namunas. Great performance, full of energy. And a special thank you for soloist Sandra Lebrikaite. Thank you very much. And if you were, just in case, wondering that there are so many people in this choir uh, ensemble, excuse me, it's only one third of the ensemble. One third of the ensemble. So uh, we wanted to bring all of it, but it, we thought, you know, we, we should leave some space for guests as well. So, uh, dear guests, allow me to begin the formal ceremony of the Award of Honorary Doctorate Regalia. Allow me to introduce the procedure and the history of the Award of Honorary Doctorate Regalia. Honorary Doctorate degrees are bestowed to the citizens of Lithuania and foreign countries. Go ahead. <laughs> The outstanding scientists of higher education and research institutions and public figures whose merits to the university, the world and Lithuanian culture, research, experimental, social and cultural development, studies, technologies and business are extraordinary. Bestowal of the honorable doctorate titles to candidates is discussed in the university senate, subsequent to the proposal by one of these academic bodies, the university council, the rector of the university, the council of an academic division or student's representative council. The proponents to award the honorary doctorate degrees to candidates also submit all necessary documents to the university senate and the latter forms a commission of five doctor members of the senate and appoints its chairman. No later than within a month from the day of its formation, the Commission presents in writing its justified conclusion regarding, excuse me, candidates' activity, major achievements and merits. The proposal of the Commission is discussed in the meeting of the Senate. The Commission, formed by the Senate, evaluates the candidates' merits according to numerous criteria and the title of the honorary doctorate is awarded if the majority of all Senate members approve it by secret voting. Honorary Honorary doctorate degree is bestowed to the candidate for an indefinite period of time and the honorary doctor is entitled to participate in the meetings of the University Senate and is invited to attend all solemn occasions of university. Honorary, honorary doctorate degrees of Konas University of Technology were previously awarded to in 1998 President of the Republic of Lithuania, Valdas Adamkus, together with Professor Romualdas Kashuba, who, apart from all other achievements, has also contributed to the research of the outer space. The same year, Juozas Patras Kaziskas, who had a doctorate in economics, was inaugurated as well. In 2013, the degree was awarded to Sir Richard Charles Nicholas Branson. In 2014, the honorary Dr. Regalia were bestowed to Alex Sozonov, Honorable Dr. Vladas Lashas, Honorable Patron Mrs. Jurate Kasitskaite, and the former Secretary General of NATO Anders Foch Rasmussen. In 2015, the honorary Dr. Regalia were bestowed to Professors Teodoro Foch Dagi and Horst Günther. Ruban. In 2016, Professor Hamid Aid Abderrahim and Dr. David Tees. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite the Chairman of the Senate of Kaunas University of Technology, Professor Ritis Krushinskas, who will begin a formal open meeting of the Senate and Rectorate. Dear Professor Schwab, Dear guests, dear colleagues of Kaunas University of Technology, welcome to this special day. Today we have honorary doctor ceremony, which is very important for the university. I would say it's another step to move forward with the educational revolution, which was mentioned yesterday. And I'm really glad to open the ceremony right now, right here. I would like to invite on the stage for my help, uh, Vice Chairman of the Senate, Associated Professor Vitotas Yanilonis, and of course, the person why we are here, Professor Klaus Schwab.
Chairman of the, Chairman of the Senate of Kaunas University of Technology, Professor Rites Kurishinskas, will introduce the awardee of the honorary doctorate title, Professor Klaus Schwab. Dear colleagues, this moment is very exciting for me. Uh, and of course, I will read the facts which are very, very interesting and very noticeable about the, our nominee, Professor Dr. Klaus Schwab. He's the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum. But of course, let's start from some facts which are related with the personality. Born in Ravensburg, Germany, married to Hilde Schwab, has two children, Olivier, Olivier and Nicole. As far as I know, there are two grandchildren as well. Main achievements of the professor. In 1971, he started as founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum. 1979, the forum launched the first iteration of, of what later, later became the Global Competitiveness Report. 1992, Nelson Mandela, anti-apartheid leader and head of the African National Congress, who had been released from prison two years earlier, made a joint appearance, the first outside South Africa. 1998, Professor was a co-founder together with his wife Hilde, of Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship. 2004, founder of the Forum of, for, of Young Global Leaders. 2006, the forum launches the first of the annual Global Gender Gap Report covering 144 countries. 2007, professor participated in the annual meeting of the new champions and he established the summer, summer Davos in Asia. 2011, founder of Global Shapers Community. 2015, the Swiss Federal Council officially recognizes the forum as international organization. 2017, this year, launch of the Center for the Fourth Industrial Revolution, a hub for global multi-stakeholder cooperation to develop policy frameworks and advance collaborations that accelerate the benefits of science and technology. A little bit fact, some facts about the education. On the list, there is a Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, Switzerland, University of Fribourg, doctorate in engineering in Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in 1967, Master of Public Administration, John Fitzgerald Kennedy School of Government. Government. Some former activities to be mentioned. From 1962 to 2003, Professor for Business Policy, University of Geneva. From 1993 to 1995, member in United Nations High Level Advisory Board on Sustainable Development. In the period from 1996 to 1998, Vice Chairman, United Nations Committee for Development Planning. Academic activities about the professor. Honorary Professor of Foreign Affairs University, Beijing. Honorary Professor in Ben Gurion University. Member of Royal Academy of Morocco. Honorary Director of World Economic Research Center, Nankai University. Professor also has started some concepts and he holds a leadership in multi-stakeholder approach in a public-private partnership, social entrepreneurship, corporate global citizenship ideas development, and I would like to mention probably one of the most recent achievements. He is the author of the fourth Industrial Revolution book, which was translated also to Lithuanian language. Some awards, I will try to mention just those from since 2000, since the, the year 2000. Annual award of the International Institute of Education. Guggenheim Humanitarian Award. Dan David Price Transatlantic Bridge Award. 
In 2007, the professor was admitted into German Business Hall of Fame. 2008, award for merits to the Republic of Lithuania, degree Commander's Cross. 2010, Atlantic Council Global Citizen Award. 2016, Reinhard Mohn Prize for Responsible Entrepreneurship. 2017, Medal of Recognition by Geneva City Government. Professor holds a number of honorary doctorate degrees in such universities as Bishop University, Universidad Autonoma Guadalajara, Economic University of Bratislava, Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Ben Gurion University of Negev, uh, London School of Economics and Political Sciences, honorary doctorate of humanities in Kazan State University, University of Latvia, European Business School, uh, Nanka University, uh, Honorary Doctorate of Economics of the Vietnam National University, uh, Honorary Doctorate of Economics of the University of Luzon, Honorary Doctorate of Chulalongkorn University in Bangkok, Doctorate of Science in Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. But among other things, what he usually does in life, he has a broad range of academic, cultural, and public service interests. He is a regular swimmer, mountain worker, walker, and enthusiastic participant in the Sky Marathon. And at the very end, I would like to add, probably it's no mountain high enough if you are trying. It just takes a little bit longer. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ritas Kruszynskas, for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I kindly ask you all to stand up because the Honorary Dr. Tregalia of Kaunas University of Technology will be brought in. Thank you very much. Chairman of the Senate will read the text of the Honorary Doctorate Diploma. This text will be in Latin language. Senatus Universitatis Technologi Kaunensis, Declarat Ut. Professor Dr. Klaus Martin Schwab, Procentia Economicam Rationis, Progressionem promotionem pro socialis entrepreneurship promotionem pro adjutorium ad incipientis in commercium et pro contributionem ad conceptionis quarte industrie progressum datum di primo vicesimo mensis juni anno domini bis millesimo septo decimo conceditur doctor honoris causa Universitatis Technologi Kaunensis, Praesis Senatus Rides Krushinskas, Rector Petras Marshauskas. Thank you. Chairman of the Senate, Vice Chairman of the Senate, and Professor Klaus Schwab are invited to the front of the stage. And Chairman of the Senate and Vice Chairman of the Senate will put honorary Dr. Gown and award the regalia to the honored Professor Dr. Klaus Schwab.
And uh, we would like our professor to sign in the Book of Honor of Kaunas University of Technology here, please. Chairman of the Senate will award the honorary doctorate diploma. Please congratulate honorary doctor. <laughs> University's honorary doctor Professor Klaus Schwab is invited to give his inauguration speech. Vice-Rector of the University, Chairman of the Senate, Mrs. Ambassador, members of the Senate and Council, faculty, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure to stand here and to be bestowed with this uh, honorary doctorate. I know it's not the first uh, doctorate, honorary doctorate in my life, but it's one which I will particularly treasure. Um, Lithuania, and I made the experience yesterday, is a country with a great potential. Uh, it's a country which I see putting a lot of emphasis also on education. And I'm looking forward to my lecture this afternoon and to meeting the young Lithuanian generation building the future. But what I like particularly in this ceremony is also the cultural dimension at uh, the very beginning. Because um, Vice Rector, as you mentioned, um, my latest, let's say, intellectual product was uh, the conceptualizing of the fourth industrial revolution. And uh, some people would say this revolution is characterized by the fight of robots against human beings. And we will win this fight if we really remember ourselves all the time. What makes us really human? And this is the creativity which we find in the context of a university, but it's also that we can add a dimension of creativity which is in the cultural field, in music, as we have seen so um, talently um, demonstrated. So I go home from this ceremony reinforced in um, my efforts, in my organization's efforts. And I'm, I should add, I'm also very glad that um, in our efforts since 1990, we could contribute to the integration of Lithuania into the European family, but also through many activities into the global affairs. So thank you again for giving me this honor. Uh, it will be a day I will not forget. And you can be assured that I will be a good ambassador of Lithuania, um, but also of the Kaunas University of Technology. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, for your sincere speech. 
We will begin the congratulatory part of our ceremony. The first congratulatory speech will be given by the chairman of the Senate, Professor Ritis Krushinskas. Dear Professor, dear guests, and dear colleagues, it's an exciting moment for us, as yesterday I was attending also the annual economic uh, event, the main event for industrialists in Lithuania, and I would say that we are living in a very dynamic environment. The atmosphere is very agile, but this atmosphere is agile not only for industry, because industry is facing the fourth industrial revolution. Education in Lithuania is also facing a revolution. And I do have a hope, huge hope, that we will join our forces and we will accept your help, if you will, will may ask for, the, for that, to win the fight for a better future of Lithuania. The industry has the challenge, education has a challenge, I would say that the country has a challenge. And I'm very glad to have Professor Klaus Martin Schwab uh, as our honorary doctor in the university as we will try to combine our efforts for a better future. So thank you, Professor. Thank you, colleagues. And I'm really glad. It's my pleasure and honor to have you here. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman of the Senate. Please uh, welcome President of the Lithuanian Confederation of Industrialists, Mr. Robertas Darges. Dear Professor, dear guests, allow me to speak a little bit in Lithuanian because I think that is an important message from industrialists to a community of academic society. Mieli Universiteto Senato nariai, mieli studentai, tikrai neilinis įvykis Lietuvos padangėje. Vienas iš pasaulio lyderių, Profesorius Klausas Švabas, aplankė mus vakar dalyvavo metiniam pramonininkų ekonomikos forume, šiandien pagerbtas Kauno technologijos universitete. Ir turbūt pagrindinė žinia, kurią neša šiandien klausos švabas, kad pasaulis keičiasi. Mes žengiam į ketvirtos pramonės revoliucijos amžių, kuri pasižymės labai triems svarbiais dalykais – savo greičiu, savo apimtim ir savo kompleksiškumu. Nebus srities, kuri bus nepaveikta pokyčių technologinių, visų pirma, ir mums visiems reikia tam rimtai ruoštis. Vakar mes daug diskutavom, kalbėjom per knygos pristatymą, pramoninkų renginį, bet taip liko ir neaišku iki galo, ar mūsų visuomenė sugebės persitvarkyti ir sugebės spėti su ketvirta pramonės revoliucija. Aš truputį nugastauju, kad verslas, kuris visada yra aktyvus, kuris visada žiūri į priekį, kuris investuoja stipriai į savo gamybą, nebūtų paliktas, nenubėgtų į priekį ir visuomenė neliktų nesupratos, kas čia vyksta. Ir ta, ką mes vakar diskutavom, labai svarbu yra mūsų bendras supratimas, kokia mūsų vieta ir ką mes turim padaryti pokyčių laikotarpį. Ir pabrėžė profesorius Šrabas, kad Neįmanoma yra galvoti apie pokyčius be trejų svarbių dėmenų – be verslo, be mokslo ir be visuomenės. Tik tai jų visų kartu dalyvavimas gali iš esmės keisti tą, ko mes labiausiam norim daryti mūsų šalį stipresne, ekonomiką, kad auktų tvariau ir kad žmonės būtų laimingesni. Nėl tai vakar tiek dėmesio buvo skirta švietimui. Švietimas yra pagrindas, nes pokyčiai visi visą laiką praeida, prasideda ir ateina nuo švietimo. Mums reikia keisti švietimą ir neveltui vakar šalia ketvirtos pramonės revoliucijos buvo įvardinta, kad revoliucija švietime tai bus būtina. Noriu palinkėti mums visiems veikti kartu. Kaip jūs puikiai žinot, aš dabar prisijungiau prie Kauno tarybos ir aš noriu linkėti, kad Kauno technologijos universitetas būtų Stipriausias universitetas Lietuvoj, 
savo idėjom visų pirma, savo stiprių akademinių potencialų. Ir dar labai svarbus momentas, aš nenoriu, kad akademinė bendruomenė būtų uždara. Aš noriu, kad jinai lygiai taip pat keistų visuomenę, keistų visų pirmą akademinį miestą Kauną ir visą Lietuvą. Ačiū Jums labai. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let us end the formal ceremony of the award of the honorary doctorate title. Honorary doctor, chairman of the Senate and vice chairman of the Senate are invited to take their places at the front of the hall, of course, surrounded by applause. Konos University of Technology Folk Art Ensemble Namunas is coming to the hall and we will all sing the hymn Gaudamus. Dear guests, members of the university's community, thank you for gathering today for participation in the ceremony of the Word of Honorary Doctorate Regalia. We would like to remind you that the lecture of Honorary Doctor Professor Klaus Schwab, Leadership Challenges in the Age of Fourth Industrial Revolution, will take place in this hall today at 2 o'clock. Everyone is invited to participate. Guests right now are invited to take a uh, photograph with Professor, and that can take time since since everybody has a smartphone. And please enjoy drinks and snacks over there at the hall. Thank you very much. And once again, big round of applause for honorary doctor. <laughs>